in order to create longer chord progressions, we're going to use this idea of root movement by fifth as a starting point. Now remember, we're starting at the end and working backwards. So we started with C and went up the interval of a fifth, C, D, E, F, G, and that provided the basis for the previous chord. So in order to create a chord before this one, we're going to start with G and count up a fifth. G, A, B, C, D. So, the root of the next chord is D. Now, we're in the key of C major, so think about what chord can be built on the note D. Turns out to be the supertonic chord, and it's a minor two chord. So, what we're actually going to do is write a D minor chord. Now, from there, same thing. We're going to start with D, count up a fifth. D, E, F, G, A. The root is A. Again, we're in the key of C major. Think about what chord can be built on A. The answer? A minor sixth chord, or a submediate chord. So, we're actually building an A minor chord. Uh, I might do something like uh, this. <clears throat> Again, we start with A, count up a fifth, A, B, C, D, E. The root is E. Okay. Again, key of C major, what chord can be built on the note E? The answer? A minor three chord, or a median chord. So, we're actually building an E minor chord. Now, <clears throat> this chord progression that we've just written is one of the most common chord progressions found in music throughout hundreds of years, for classical, romantic, uh, contemporary, and modern music. <clears throat> and because we're moving by the interval of a fifth, it's often referred to as the circle of fifths progression. And, of course, not every piece of music uses this chord progression, but a lot of music is derived from this chord progression. And that's why we're using it as a starting point, because it's a really good uh, place to learn harmonic structure from. Now, this would be the circle of fifths progression, but it's a little bit odd to start it on a three chord. So, we probably want to add a chord just to establish it at the beginning. And since we're in the key of C major, we'd start with the one chord, which would be C. And I might do something like that. So this chord progression with the one at the beginning is the circle of fifths progression. And you're going to become very familiar with it over the next few chapters. Um, this chord progression can also be used in minor keys, and that's what we're, we'll, that's what we're going to talk about in the next lesson.